got a great conversation here for you right now and we begin following up with the story we covered all last week. Billings Public Schools selected Dr. Erwin Garcia as the district's next superintendent as Superintendent Upham retires at the end of the year. Uh, Dr. Garcia joining us live now via Zoom from Houston this morning. Good morning, Dr. Garcia. Good morning, Agassa, and good morning, uh, the Q2 News. Yeah. Uh, really glad to join you today. Thank you so much for waking up early and being here with us. Excited to get to know you a little bit. Um, first, how are you feeling about this uh, selection? This is a, a big change for you. Number one, I really want to thank the, the Billings Public School community and the Board of Trustees for such a transparent process. I am very excited. I'm thrilled. My wife, my boys, uh, Gabriel and Aaron, we're all excited about the opportunity to move to such wonderful city. And talk to me a little bit about why, for you, this was the right time to leave Houston. Right now, you're in a position where you oversee um, tens of thousands more students than you'll oversee in, in Billings. Great question. So number one, for me, it's a logical step to be a superintendent. I've been doing this work um, out of the principalship. I was a principal and assistant principal for five years after that. I became a principal supervisor and area superintendent for almost seven years. And I thought this is the time for me to be a superintendent. And before we apply, we pray with my wife and sons. And we said, we need to find a community where that we share the same values, that we share the same aspirations. And I found Billings and here I am, very excited about the opportunity to serve such an amazing community. Thank you. And some Billings community members are asking us about, um, okay, so you're you're leaving the, the Houston Independent School District where it was recently announced that the uh, uh, some Texas state officials are basically taking over leadership of that school district. What do you want the Billings community to know about um, this happening at the school you, you're just coming from? Well, it didn't happen at the school I just came from, just to clarify that. When uh, Whitley High School uh, became improvement needed, and that's what triggered uh, five years of lack of academic performance, I was still a principal. So I was a principal at another campus. Actually, my campus became Texas and nationally recognized as one of America's best campuses. And that's open to the public, it's called the Anda Elementary. So I was one of the reasons why the people in administration thought about me to move to a principal supervisory capacity. It was exactly to help schools just like Whitley, because back in the day, we wasn't only 10 schools that were underperforming. We had about 60, 70 campuses underperforming. And when I became a principal supervisor, my job was to move schools out of unacceptable performance. And that's what I've done for the past seven years is help schools not only become their best if they're low performing, if they're high performing, we're pushing them to highest levels of achievement. So the the community at Billings should be should rest assured that the work that we are going to do is the right work for kids. And I have a proven record of success to, to, to show. So Dr. Garcia, on that note, what are your priorities coming into Billings Public Schools? Um, what are your your kind of your inspiration, uh, new project ideas? What are you? What are those kind of those top things you're going to work on? Yes. So number one, the things that I have to do: listen and learn. I was able to connect to many members of the community, to city officials, with principals, with teachers, and I will definitely continue doing that. I know when I met with parents. You know, the parents that were probably closer or the most vocal, they were the ones that I was able to listen to. But I want to listen to all of the community members. Number two, I need to start working on my five-year strategic plan that is the result of actually the comments uh, and the desire, the aspiration of the city of Billings. And that's something that we will be presenting to the community. And definitely, I can tell you this, Augusta, we need to focus on academic achievement uh, I know we can be the best district in the state of Montana. There's no excuse for not being one, being the one, because it's, it's a dynamic city. It's a wonderful city. It has so many opportunities for children, and we need to push. And especially in the area of special education, that's a big area that we need to strengthen, build trust with the community. And of course, I can spend more time talking about my aspirations for the district, 
but I would like to give an opportunity to the families to share what their values, to share their priorities, so I can start building that five-year um, uh, strategic plan. Okay, and last question for you, Dr. Garcia. Coming out of COVID, we still have um, some educational and learning issues and behavioral issues with students in the classroom. It was a very challenging time. Talk about um, some of the solutions that you are, uh, that, that you feel address some of the, um, some say learning loss and some say, you know, just a, a new challenge. How are you going to continue to address um, uh, the, the way our kids were impacted by uh, the COVID-19 shutdowns? So it starts with me having high expectations. As you know, uh, I also came through the pandemic and my kids came through the pandemic and they are actually, you know, victims of that learning loss. But it starts with me setting uh, high expectations for the team and with high expectations comes uh, high support. So I'm a believer that it's not only setting expectations for people, it's really supporting them so they can achieve those expectations because it has to trickle down. It has to go to the principles, that same level of expectation, because we don't want to turn COVID into a, another excuse for not being great. We need to move our schools. Our kids deserve it. Yes, COVID was traumatic, difficult times. We cannot ignore that there's mental issues, that there's a lot of emotional issues that we need to address. But at the same time, we cannot turn that into a handicap and making excuses for not being the best. And if we wanna be the best district in the state of Montana, we need to overcome that. We need to push, we need to be brave. And we, yes, we need to address the academic need, but also the social emotional needs of our students. All right, Dr. Erwin Garcia joining us live from Houston this morning, uh, soon to be the new superintendent of Billings Public Schools. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.